direct and full effect after 832. Y'all already know how I do. I just saw a story uh, talking about Mike Tyson had been molested as a child. And that pretty much explains why the outbursts and why he was so angry throughout his career. You know, and this is just a very sad situation uh, for that brother because I hate any child, hear about any child being molested and stuff like that. And uh, that could take a real bad toll on somebody. You know, a lot of our people, murderers, rapists, even though he was convicted of rape, I will never believe that that brother was ever a rapist. That's just my personal opinion. But a lot of our murderers, rapists, uh, people that are homosexuals have been uh, molested as a child. You know, this is, we have to take an knowledge of that. And we as uh, African-American men, because this is a very common thing that happens. It happens a lot in white society. <coughs> but <coughs> let's just say it like this. It happens enough in black society. And we got to take take back, take control of our neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? The fact that this would happen uh, to, to him. And I kind of seen that coming. You know, I'm, I am I am not surprised. I remember Sugar Ray Leonard said one of his amateur boxing coaches had molested him. So we got to uh, watch out for these boys out here. You know, girls. <clears throat> excuse me. It's early in the morning. I, these allergies will be. You know, we got to definitely watch out for our girls because our girls can be traumatized. But uh, we definitely need to watch out for these boys because it can take just as bad, if not a worser effect on boys than it is on girls. And uh, I'm not minimizing anybody being sexually assaulted or or uh, being molested. But the the fact is that men take it you know what i'm saying and this is by the numbers take it a little bit harder if you look at if you go through every criminal that has been to jail most of the people that's committed murder somewhere down the line something that happened to them as a child uh in terms of sexual assault so i'm glad mike tyson had came out i think there needs to be some type of uh funding for kids that have been sexually assaulted so people could come out more and not be ashamed or be shame you know not be ashamed and being shamed for being sexually assaulted because as a child seven years old you can only um you can only uh protect yourself only so much as a seven-year-old child you know and that explains a lot of things that happened. From what I understand, this kid was playing the 1970s, 1980s version of the knockout game. He was just going around uh, in, you know what I'm saying, Brooklyn, knocking kids out. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of explains a lot of the behavior and why he was so dedicated to boxing. And, you know, a lot of his behavior and... You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely have to shout out to that brother, you know. You know, it's some personal things that I feel about him. <laughs> I'm not going to say it on air, but I'm glad he came out with that. And we need more guys that had, have been sexually assaulted to come out and just, you know what I'm saying? And, and not just come out. We need people out there doing something about these problems in the community. Once again, this your boy live and direct and full effect at the 832. Y'all already know how Jim and Jay Smooth do.